believe that. He's my right hand man. And you are? Jane. All right this way, Jane. Have yourself a seat. So we'll get this little lady a beer. Now tell us. How in the hell did old Jason here talk you into a date? You are finer than a frog's hair split four ways. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Actually, Jane's not my date. She's my wife. You're kid. No way. Come on. I want you to leave playing. Oh, it's it is true. I'm his wife. But it's a little more complicated than that. Uh, my name's actually not Jason. It's Michael Cordero, and I was a cop in Miami. A detective, actually. A free one. Well, that's debatable. A pretty wild story. I'll tell you guys when we have more time. Hey, mm. come on. We got nothing but time. You guys want a campfire story? Yeah. I got a crazy one for you. Holy hell. I know, it's... It's really a crazy story. The craziest part wasn't the story, it's the fact that Jason here, I mean, Michael, told him. No one's ever heard him string more than two sentences together one time. <laughs> and you got a sense of humor? Who knew? I gotta say, that's damn near the most romantic thing I've heard since Luke Bryan's new album. So what's the ending of this fairy tale? Jane, you gonna move out here and become a ranch wife? Oh, uh, we're gonna take it slow. One step at a time. So what I miss around here? Who? Where do I start? So your heart is ready, is it, Baptist? Well, let us hope that the rest of you is ready as well. Salome has danced for me. I promised her anything if she would. And yet, she has only asked for your head in return. Prepare yourself, Baptist. Prepare yourself to see what happens when you trouble a king. No, Herod. You prepare yourself. You prepare yourself to see what happens when you trouble the king of kings. And you...